Some 7,000 migrants stranded in Niger are unable to be repatriated. Niger's junta have closed its airspace and regional countries have imposed severe travel and economic sanctions closing land borders. Momo is another of those trying to get back home, for him, in Liberia. I am sleeping on the street. People are sleeping on the street. All of my are sleeping on the street. Yeah, we got no room to stay, no place to stay, no money, no even food to eat. You see, all, all the places you see migrants are sleeping on the street. Yes, migrants are suffering us out here. We are suffering here. We don't have no food to eat. Momo has been sleeping on the pavement in Asia's capital, Niamey, with his two daughters and his wife since June, and they beg for food. It's complicated because after the coup and the closing of borders, IOM could not allow migrants out anymore. And for us, if the situation continues for another month, we'll have difficulties to maintain the current level of services we provide to migrants, such as food, water, shelter and protection. So we hope for this situation to be resolved quickly. Copi, an Italian aid group that provides shelter for migrants in Niger's northern town of Asamaka, near the border with Algeria, said that since the coup, an additional 1,300 people have entered its center trying to return home. Under President Bazoum, the country received nearly 300 million euros under the EU Trust Fund for Africa, a multi-billion dollar program aimed at fighting the root causes of migration in the continent.